Hello, my cookies, and welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, I am doing a fantastic outdoor recipe. I love cooking on my Brio. It is just a ton of fun. You can make anything and everything. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be making a caramelized maple cream French toast today. I'm also going to be trying out a little bit of a Monte Cristo, make it a little bit sweeter. So a Monte Cristo, if you don't know, it's essentially a ham and cheese sandwich, but instead of bread, you're using French toast. Now that we know what we're doing, let's gather our ingredients. For your ingredients, you're going to need some butter. I have three tablespoons dark brown sugar, whole milk, one and a half cups, some vanilla extract. I have a little bit of pumpkin spice. If you don't have it, some cinnamon is fine. We're using a half teaspoon, no big deal. I also have some vanilla powder. This is completely optional. You don't need it. Maple cream from yesterday, again, optional, but I think you're gonna really like it. You're also gonna need some brioche bread, and last but not least, you're gonna need some salt. All right, now that we know what we're doing, and we've gathered our ingredients, let's get cooking. First thing I'm gonna do is cut this brioche, and I'm just gonna toast it over the fire. I'm gonna give it a little smokiness, it's gonna dry it out. Then we're gonna make kind of our custard that we're gonna put the bread into. We'll fry up our French toast, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna make this pretty thick, I'd say three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. All right, now that we cut the bread, let's go ahead and toast it. I've raised up the Brio grill rack, and I'm just gonna toast it lightly, both sides. As they toast, let's go ahead and flip them. Remember, we're just drying them out. You don't need a lot of color. Ooh. All right, as they're toasted, pull them off. Ding. All right, now that we got our brioche toasted, let's go ahead and make that custard. I got one and a half cups of room temp milk here. And I'm gonna add my three tablespoons brown sugar. Let's do a little bit pumpkin spice here. I got an eighth teaspoon. I love my vanilla extract, so I'm gonna do about a teaspoon. Tablespoon, tablespoon. For my Madagascar pure vanilla powder, about a teaspoon. And of course, you are going to need some eggs and a little bit of salt. So with the salt, just a pinch. For the eggs, I like using just yolks here. This kind of makes it more of a custard. I'm gonna go ahead and add these yolks. Boom, three egg yolks. All right, let's go ahead and whisk this up. Mmm, that smells so good. All right, let's get our dipping dish. To get this French toast going. Let's go ahead and get this in here. I'm also going to put the dish and I'm cooking them in over the fire. Let it start heating up. All right, so we're preheating, but I need to make sure it's absolutely non stick. So I'm going to put a little spray. Don't want this French toast sticking. And now it's time for two tablespoons of butter. And this will be the gauge on whether we are too close to the fire or we're too high on how quickly it melts. Let's go ahead and raise it up a little bit. All right, our butter's melted, so it's time to get this French toast in one at a time. I'm just gonna dunk it in the milk mixture briefly, flip it over, dunk it again, and then get it in my pan. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful French toast here. All right, let's go ahead and take these off. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Mmm, -mm. can't wait, can't wait. I'm gonna throw a little bit more wood on so I have some coals for this next part. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Brio grill off and I'm gonna put my Brio pizza oven on and we're gonna finish these in the oven. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, we have our French toast here. Let's go ahead and make one Monte Cristo sandwich and the rest we are going to do a little differently. So let's select the best two for our sandwich. This one looks fantastic, and this one also looks fantastic. Now, if you tuned in yesterday, I made something called maple cream, which is absolutely delicious, absolutely simple. Just tastes a little bit of elbow grease. Anywho, we have our maple cream. So you want this room temp, you can take the chill off in the microwave. But if you don't know what maple cream is, it's essentially maple syrup that I've turned into kind of peanut butter. This is just one ingredient, maple syrup. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to smear a bunch of this on the inside here, and then we're gonna do it on the outside. All right, for this sandwich, I got a little bit of Gruyere here. I'm just gonna layer it on. Don't mind how it looks. 
a nice little piece of Gruyere. All right, and I've gone ahead and put my Brio pizza oven on and I've closed the vent. I'm gonna trap in all that heat and the heat's gonna rise. So the top is gonna be very hot. I wanna get it up to that thousand degree mark pretty much because I wanna just get a little bit of caramelization on this very quickly. We'll see how that goes. Now it's time for the ham. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah, baby. All right, so let's get, let's get some. All right, so for this, I am going edge to edge. I don't want any of this bread exposed. We have our maple topping on top. Now let's go ahead and do some regular French toast here. So I'm gonna sprinkle just some regular granulated sugar on here. And we're gonna try and brulee this without a torch. Because <laughs> I don't have a torch, and I'm assuming that a lot of you all out there don't have a brulee torch. All right. All right, so the experimental one is gonna be this guy here, and we're gonna test my theory. There is not one component of this right now that is not going to be delicious. Let's be honest. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put this on here, and I'm gonna try and brulee the top by sticking it way up high in this oven. Let's get this thing hot enough first. We gotta heat it up. Heat it up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get a nice crispy topping to this. Put it up high in the oven towards the back. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, that's so cool. You got a nice liquidy topping. It's gonna solidify into a nice crispy brulee. So I'm gonna go ahead, take that off and we're gonna do the other two. So let's get this big guy on here. All right, so this one, I want that cheese to be melty. Look at that liquidy top. We're getting, we're gonna get it. Let's give it another 20 seconds. Oh, it's hard. The top is hard. We did it. Who needs a torch? Get out of here. Just get a Brio fire pit and a Brio fire pit oven, pizza oven. All right, look at that liquidy topping. All right, let's do this last one here. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. I'm just going to pick up this delightful maple cream top, sugar brulee. You can see how crackly it is now. French toast. Oh my God. Oh my God. Babe, get out of here. You got to try this. Have you ever had a maple donut? That's exactly what it tastes like. Bursting. Bursting with maple flavor. Just absolutely crushes it. And then you get that nice readiness from the brioche. A little bit of the butter. A little bit of that vanilla. Add some depth. It's not just one note. And the sweetness isn't overpowering. Remember, this was brioche and we cooked it in butter. So you got a nice little balance of that savory richness and then the sweetness here. This is phenomenal. This is the best thing I've had all day. Probably the best thing I've had all week. No pressure. Other thing we did today, none at all. Let's go ahead and take a bite of this. Mm. Oh my God, that is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Look at this. Mm. You get the sweet, you get the salty, you get the rich, you get that Gruyere tang. This is just absolutely mind blowing. Oh my God. This is like a new brunch staple for me. Do you need to brulee it? Absolutely not. Just put that maple cream on top, all right? Let's see how it looks with a little bit more maple cream. No brulee, you don't even have to brulee it. Look at this. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. Maple cream French toast, people. I'm telling you. So that was a maple cream brioche French toast as well as a maple cream brioche Monte Cristo. If you like what you saw, don't forget to check me out. I'm also on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube. The best way to support this channel is just subscribe to me on YouTube. It's free, it's easy, 
thank you for doing it. If there's other ways you want to contribute, I have a whole bunch of affiliate links down below each video. It's just stuff I use and just stuff I like. And if you buy something after clicking the link, I'll get a little kickback. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope to see you next time. Take care.